at the start of the Queen stage of Tour of Good Hope stage 3. Um, let's talk to Brad about how it is uh, for uh, a non-climber to get through these mountain stages. Uh, yeah, I never look forward to these big mountain passes. Uh, so you just got to use your energy wisely. Uh, got a few extra bars here for Billy to carry up the climbs because, you know, <laughs> gonna be battling anyway to get over the top so but yeah just the main focus is to get over the top just so i can help him on the back roads because the climbers always need some, some guys there so. Get more knife on here then. Um, for some reason I'm not allowed to say his name because I'm saying it too much lately. Here with teammate Brendan riding for road cover. Uh, most of you know him obviously from the mountain biking side. So I'm here with the team captain of team road cover cycling team, Brad Kutkita. Uh, I'm here with Clint Hendricks, Cape August cycle winner. Um, oh, oh, oh. What's your spe speciality, climbing or descending, or uh, flats? Probably descending now, I would say. <laughs> uh, but, uh, I think we all know that he goes up a mountain quite yeah, quick. Um, I would say climbing. That's a obvious good answer. answer. That's obvious, I think we can see that. I think of myself as an all-rounder, um, generally speaking. Uh, so yeah, I think... Uh, Maybe a DC, the future DC rider, but I'm um, obviously still trying to learn the road. So, uh, the speciality would be the leaving, leading out, uh, a little bit of sprinting. Uh, I try my end of time trialing, and then obviously uh, just got to get over the climbs to try and be there for the team. So, yeah, so as you all know, there's 30,000 participants in that event. It's one of the biggest one day events in South Africa. And I've got our sprinter here, as you can see. So I don't even have to ask him what his speciality is. We all know you guys really fast. Oh, uh, drinking beers, one of them. Or... Well, they can be if needed. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Uh, any regrets in life? That I didn't make my own vlogs. Eh? <laughs> any regrets in life? No. I think he's too young for any regrets. I think the only thing I really regret is in terms of riding is uh, not moving to the road a bit sooner when I was a bit younger. Big, uh, yeah, no, not so many regrets, but uh, I think there's a few things to look back at that maybe could have gone a bit better. Like when I was in Europe with uh, M10 Quebec, which is now our data, things didn't go as quite as smoothly as I would have liked to. So. Obviously, had an accident there and then came back, and so that just sort of European dream was crushed all in that accident. But yeah, there was a lot of bad luck there, but yeah, I still enjoy riding my bike here. Yeah, no, I don't think I've 
uh, in your regrets in life. Uh, maybe just uh, riding a GTR. <laughs> uh, yeah, maybe there's some stuff I wanted to, to achieve a little bit earlier in my cycling career, but no regrets in that. Good things take time, huh? No. No regrets? No, nothing. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Really yeah, especially in such a big event, uh, hats off to him, it was a great ride. Uh, uh, probably party in that jump to last week. It's, decent, it's a decent result, it's a really difficult to uh, uh, difficult terrain, so hats off to him. The 94.7, my um, continental titles, uh, a couple of world championships that I did as a mountain biker, and yeah, making the national team for, uh, for uh, Egypt. Yeah, no racing there for me. Yeah, I mean, my parents watched me win the Tour de Durban last year. Uh, it's close to my hometown, Peter Marisburg, and obviously Tour de Durban being in Durban. Uh, that's a highlight more emotionally for me, but highlights on a bigger scale was going to the World Team Town Trial Championships with MT in Quebec. And World Champs last year in Doha, Qatar. Your podium at uh, SA Champs last year. Oh, it's one of I think, I think my best results personally of the year, last year. And obviously August as well. Right? Yeah, August also one of the big ones. Um, if anybody told you oh, 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 oh. you can't do it or do something? Not really, I've always had good support. Eh? So, yeah, no, a lot of people have told me, obviously, I think a lot of us are the same boat. <laughs> It's actually funny because uh, they told me I uh, would never be a professional cyclist, I'm too big. Yeah, winning August. <laughs> <laughs> Skate on cycle to another oh. August in England. It's good to know. Good to know. Uh, oh. 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 Uh, internationally or locally? Internationally. So that would probably have to be uh, this flu, man. I'd have to say uh, Brad Wiggins. More closely though, also when he's quite a, quite an influential person in my life, so. Obviously Barry was a big role, role model for me as a life team, and uh, yeah, guys like Daryl and Louis and yourself, you guys have all sort of paved the way for riders to try to get into Europe. Which is I don't like to pick them, like it's normally they're disappoint. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so, Billy Smith, yeah. Thanks. <laughs> I'm doing great to pass. No, no, no. Fight for golf for that. It's a pretty good person we're going to buy. Ah, uh, and golf is your favorite food. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, it's a good thing, Danny, bro. Where are we we're going to now? Falcaccio. Falcaccio. Um, pizza and oats, actually. A good roast veg with some, either a steak or some grilled chicken, something like that, eh? For me, it's spicy mince wraps, so like Mexican food or something like that. Yeah, sushi, I'd say it's my favorite food. Nice, like a dessert, almost like a dessert type of food. So, I'm here with Ryan. Um, as you can see, he's busy massaging. Um, it's difficult asking him the same questions. Yeah.